Hi guys, it's Wave Master here. Just got a quick little video for you today showing you how you can create a very, very simple text-based logo for your website using Canva, which is a free tool. Um, although it does have a pro version you can pay for, but it is a free tool you can use to create some images online. Now, I have done a video recently using Photoshop, which uh, does the same sort of process. Uh, Photoshop isn't free. However, you can do a lot more with Photoshop, but this is just a kind of like a simpler free version of that, just in case you're not looking to, you know, sign up for a creative cloud or something. Something like that so the way we're going to do we're going to start off with a create a design now because we're looking to work with a uh, create a logo for our website if we were doing social media uh, as well you pretty much the same process just maybe different dimensions depending on what you're doing but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a design here and uh, let's say I'm going to create it for uh, we'll start off with some social media so I'm going to go custom dimensions I'm going to go 1080 by 1080 and create that design. And as you can see, we've already got a bunch of templates we can use if we want to. You can click on these and start typing away and changing the logo if you want to. Um, just so you know uh, that that's there, that is an option if you want to scroll through and if you'd rather just find something you like, you can go through and edit that. But we're going to start from scratch just so you can uh, yeah, see how in case you want to actually be creative and you want to sort of start from scratch yourself. So let's say, uh, first of all, if I want, I'm putting this in the black background. I can simply pop a black background there. And I want to add some text. I'm going to click on text. I'm going to click on add a heading. So let's say I've got a business name here. Um, we'll call it um, we'll call it, say, Rocker. We'll sort of Rocker Sportswear. So let's go to that. Let's have a subheading. So rock up fitness. Something like that. Now it looks very plain at the moment, but what you can do when you click on this, you get a whole bunch of options. Uh, so very quickly, we've if I click on this here, you see we've got up top here open sans extra. This is where you can choose your font. So if I come down here, there's a whole bunch of fonts that I can choose from. Now, some of these have little crayons next to them. I'm going to grade out because they're part of the um, they're part of the Canva Pro account. That if you sign up and pay Canva Canva Pro, then you actually uh, you know get access to more fonts and more features. But for now, while we're using this free version, we can go through and see if there's any fonts in here that we like. Uh, it actually is not too bad. So we'll stick with that one for Rocker. So we've got our font here for Rocker Fitness. That looks pretty cool. And maybe we want to change the fitness to something a little bit better again. It's just a matter of going through, finding a font you like. Just takes a bit of time obviously but you know basically go through have a play see if you can find one you like and run with it from there i'm going to stick with i want something a little bit thinner than that just for the sake of the video so we'll go barlow now what i can do here we're going to move on and look at some of the other uh, features so obviously we have the size of the font here i can just resize it here or i can actually put the size in here or choose the thing is i can change the color so let's say this fitness part here i want it to be something a little more uh Let's say we'll go for a grey, maybe we'll go for like a grayscale look with this particular logo, maybe not too grey. So just a slightly lighter colour than the than what's above it. I can make a bold, although there's not much of a difference in that font. Italics, underline, and the usual alignment. I can, uh, if I have a larger box here, I can make it left align, justified, right align, centre. Simply click and cycle through. I can choose if it's not in caps, so if I happen to put a couple of uh, lower cases here, I can choose to have it all caps or not. Bullet points, I select everything, so bullet points or number points. The only thing now I want to show you is the spacing. So first of all, I'm going to start with this fitness line here, because if I click on spacing here, I've got two options. I can have the line height, which increases and decreases the amount of space between each line, and then the letter spacing. So you can see it's quite easy to change that. I'm going to get rid of that second line because what we want to focus on here is the letter spacing. I'm going to make that nice and wide. Drag that out. 
Um, you can choose where to anchor it in the box. Uh, a little less exciting, not really too much there. If the box was larger, you can choose to have it obviously at the top or the bottom of the box. But for now, we're just happy with that the way it is. So we've got Rocker Fitness on our. It's going to go on the on our social media first. It's a nice black background. So we're really happy with that. We can go ahead and use that. But let's say we want to add a bit more character to it. Um, obviously, I can make some of this semi-transparent if I want to by clicking this, going semi-transparent. And I can just I can group things by if I hold down Shift and hold both, I can group and create this as one group and ungroup. So you've got a few options there for your text. But let's say we want to try something different with this. If I want to, maybe I want to rotate this just slightly and have rocker fitness like that so it's like just a little bit off off base so that's basically how you can play with the the text in your logo and try and get something pretty unique so let's say we're happy with that so maybe we've got this and we decide okay i want to put something in the background now we're going to our background setting here and find something cool something dark that's going to complement the design a little bit So you can go through and do something like that. So you can scroll through all your backgrounds. I can even type up here, black. You see we get a few options. Once again, some of these will not be free. A lot of these ones here at the moment are, but you will find there are gonna be some premium ones on there because of the Canva Pro uh, subscription. So I think we'll stick with the sand for now. So let's say that's our logo. We're happy with it the way it is. Um, I can make the logo, uh, the background semi-transparent if I want to. We'll have a play with it that way. Actually, let's stick with that marble. It looks a bit, a bit better. One thing I will say too is that if I'm using this here and I want to center this, if I move it around, you see we get some guides. Like this little purple box shows me that I'm where I am in relation to the image. But when I get that center line, it means that the box is centered horizontally on the page. And if I wanted to go vertical, I can move down and get the same effect. But I want this to be just up a little bit. So I've got it nice and centered on the page. Now what I'm going to do, one thing I will also, I should have pointed out at the start of this video, is if you want to actually use a transparent PNG, you do have to sign up for Canva Pro for that. So it is pretty much just a JPEG with a background. So if you are putting it onto a uh, navigation back that has a, a flat color, try to get the same color in here. And um, that way you can use that JPEG against that background color. So what we're going to do, we're going to download this. So I'm going to click download. It says here PNG. Now, as you can see, the crown next to transparent means I can't make it transparent. I do have to sign up for Canva Pro. But uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Canva Pro is not too bad. But uh, for the sake of this video, we're doing what we can for free. So I'm going to go, I'm going to choose a JPEG. And I'm going to download that. Now, what if I want to use that on my website? I can't actually resize this because that is a pro feature. So what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to call this one Rocker Social Media. So this is my Rocker social media image that I can use on my Facebook page, Instagram, whatever it is. I'm going to go back home and I'm going to actually create another design here with custom dimensions. But this time I'm going to make it 900 pixels by say 250 pixels create that design so we've got this much smaller rectangle now but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go into uploads here and i'm going to upload an image like the one i just used so i'm going to go upload image or video all right so i'm going to click this rocker fitness that we just saved open that and once this bar finishes, I can actually click on this image and pop it in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to resize that image. It's a little bit, I can actually zoom out here for all, oh, sorry. I can actually zoom out to say 75% so I can see what I'm doing. Zoom out a bit, oops, zoom out a little bit further to say 25%. So the idea here is I want to get this image. I'm just going to try and make it about the same width. I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard. 
So now I have an image that I can use on my website. So I'm going to zoom back in. So I've actually created a new document and I've gone into uploads and uploaded a new image. So that way I've actually got one for my website as well. So, that, so that's another case of me now going to the download button up here, clicking JPEG and downloading that. So now I've got the that logo for both my social media and for my website. And that's basically how you can use Canva to create images for social media on your website, create a quick text-based logo, nothing super fancy, but enough to sort of give you something good and easy to start with. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a like. Otherwise, if you want more videos like this, please subscribe, and also any requests on anything uh, design-wise in Photoshop or in Canva, uh, drop a comment below and uh, let us know. All right, have a good day. Talk to you later.